So do you want to see how Razer built this Razer Cobra Pro? Well, I'm going to show you how it's built. So I'm Billy Bob. I'm 44 years old, been gaming for 35 years, if not more. I've been obsessed with gaming tech, especially mice and modding them. And if you want to get a competitive edge over your rivals because of the data I can provide, then you're definitely at the right place. So let's take apart the Cobra Pro. Let's weigh it. Damn, son. I'm back in the 80s. Is your puck. Damn, two grams heavier than I thought. Well, there's two grams saving straight away. Interesting, those are quite narrow in the front. Normally they're out here on the edges, so brought them in a little bit. And then two on the rear. Why'd you put so many? You need like two maybe. You don't even need screws in this thing. The clips are that good on razor mice. You don't even need a screw. It will not come apart. I don't understand why. Din, din, din. Interesting LED position already. I mean, how can that be so heavy? How can it be so heavy? There isn't that much in there. How can it be so heavy? That's central battery position though. How can it be so heavy? Anyway, I thought it'd be a little bit lighter given that what's in it, but. But no, and looks like the smaller JST connector for the battery, which it is. So let's chop the battery then, because we've not got the smaller connector. Ooh, damn, 40 grams on the top. All right, let's get the battery out. That's got, that's got a bit of a beast of a battery holder, isn't it? Look at it. But it also mounts the side buttons. This better be one big ass battery. I'm about to start my car with this. I tell you. 554. I know it's a 420 milliamp. Is that all it is? Eight gram. I mean, it's not eight grams isn't that heavy for that battery. Weird brand that I can never remember the name of. It begins with the D, I'm sure, for the side switches. And they got one on the top as well for the DPIs and where they are. <laughs> it's delicate. Be careful. Keeping this puppy out if you follow it. Finally. At least using a proper PCB on the back. Not a ribbon cable like Logitech. But they should just put full size switches in this, it looks like it makes no sense. So inside the shell, I mean, look at it. It's a, it's very similar to the Viper Mini. That one piece, the buttons can't be moved, but they are solid. Put these little uh little pin. They're stopping the side wall. Ooh. Well, good news, you'll be able to paint these easily to scrape out the logo to make your own little design like Nacho Customs does in uh, Leonardo Demo. I 
mean, that's it. I don't think you can take anything else apart. Even the side buttons are riveted again. You have to pin that out later, but we can't do that because that'd be destructive because they are riveted in. But we'll take them out on one of the weight reductions later. I don't see the point in the diffusers, but we just took out quite a bit of meat out of this, to be fair. Look at that back. They took out a lot of space, even above the buttons here. Four grams. This reminds me of a um, Model O minus. You can see we've got a extender for the for the uh, block for the scroll wheel. Four screws. One, two, three, oh, I like that scroll wheel it, it, it reminds me of an OEM scroll wheel but it might even be the same out there XM1 or something I don't know this is a very thin, thin rubber We've got the quick release switches. You can put any Razor Opto mechanic on it. Eleven mil TTC, a little bit not cheaper, sealed, which is unusual for TTC. Uh, we've got the block. We're around nine mil for the button. If you want to change it? Let's see the MCU. Put your pen down. The MCU is an NS two eight. Or zero sensors it got. It's running a PAW, I think it's the 3395OLM dash T5QU. I want to reckon the PCB way. Have a guess. I'm going to go 14 grams. Got to be. It's close. Got three magnets, which we'll take out. We don't want the wireless charging. All this is going to come out. We take out. We can't take out there, but trimmed on the sides as usual. Let's notice it's got another PCB there for the USB C. Just when we thought we'd have enough PCBs in this. Enough PCB, they couldn't even fit the USB C on it. Boring. God damn razor in the rivets, man. Oh my days. It is riveted. Alright, I'm going to seven grams on this diffuser. What do you reckon? It can have even less we thought. get a full, full bit of tape around it. Oh man, come on. I think that's it. You can't take anything outside of that, it's all riveted in or glued. 13 grams, 
And there it is. The Pro Cobra taken apart. Where's, where's 77 grams in this? 